In the semi-darkness of a green-lit bridge, two eyes stare at a flickering computer screen, the starlight shining through the windows illuminating the rest of the monumental fleet of black ships that are forming around the flagship. The cruisers have taken formation, my lord. As long as we haven't completely eliminated the defense lines behind the border stations, none of our officers can assure us that the Echalutu won't lure us into a trap. So, is the path to their worlds clear? We detect movements of smaller flotillas near the planet Ateli, but nothing that could indicate a planned counter-strike. Then we have no more time. Our lord tells us that their advantage lies in their defensive strategies. We must weaken them whilst there is still time. Alfekta's fleet is still nearly 5,000 light years behind us. We cannot attack at full strength if we do it now. It is an order, Commander. Our schedule must be followed. The first, second, and third fleet will proceed westward immediately. And any world that appears to be of economic or military significance must be attacked on the spot. We cannot give them a chance to launch a coordinated counter-strike. As you command, my lord. Zargadrash. I wanted to inquire about your progress. My lord, their border stations have been overcome, and none of their fleets have organized themselves to a size that could in any way stop us. Hmm. Then proceed with the attack, Prince. Our main goal should be to cut off the eastern worlds from the rest of the Empire. We will wear them down piece by piece. This war will be about morale and endurance, so I wish for you to show no mercy. Of course not, my lord. Give them a taste of the terror that awaits them in the coming months. They should tremble at the mere mention of your fleet, Prince. Oh. What about the Asteri, my lord? Leave the order entirely to me. So, you deny, Commentor Pallander Farius, that you violated Regulation 4 of the Realm Guard's Warfare Directive? Yes, their station was beyond saving. If my ship and I had stayed there any longer, there would be nothing left of us but charred pieces of metal today. Didn't you inform Commentor Belgor that you would evacuate every member of his crew to the Asha? <laughs> yes, but... Didn't you release the docking ramps before the structural integrity of the Avensol 25 failed? Yes, that's correct. So, Commentor, what would still make us doubt your guilt? With all due respect, Marshal, but you cannot assess the situation. You weren't there. You haven't seen the terror we encountered that day. And what would that be? What attacked Avensol 25 and the other stations on the Sigmar Star Cluster border were no pirates. 
It was an invasion fleet. Don't make a fool of yourself, Commentor. Such a fleet would never escape our sight. Impossible. It can only be an insignificant attack. There is no other possibility. Don't turn a blind eye to it, Marshal. An insignificant attack that wiped out a fully armed space station and several warships of the Space Navy? Fine. Then, this court now summons Leshent Commentor Valdir to testify. Valdir served as the first officer under Commentor Farius at the time of the events on that day. Leshent Commentor Valdir, do you swear that in the presence of this court, convened by the High Command of the Realm Guard, the eternal protector of the worlds and the honor of the Empire, you will speak only the truth? I swear. What is your stance on Commentor Farius' statement regarding the alleged invasion fleet that attacked Avensol 25? Marshal, I believe that Commander Farius, like all of us in this particular situation, was unable to properly assess the events there. Valdir, you cursed bastard. So you contradict the statement that Avensol 25 was attacked by a massive invasion fleet, as described by Commentor Farius. However, it's not within my jurisdiction to assess the mental state of the commander at that time. But you do not deny that the retreat from the station was initiated prematurely, resulting in the unnecessary loss of 52 Aryan soldiers' lives. I... no. I do not deny that. Commentor Farius, how do you respond to these accusations? What about the station's sensor data? I beg your pardon? Their sensors recorded the number of ships. I'm certain of it. And the data from the border stations is continuously sent to Ateli for analysis. We have no information on that. <laughs> Why not? Because you don't have it. Or because they are meddling again. Commentor, I will not allow statements regarding the involvement of the EED in this matter. The intelligence agency has nothing to do with it. <laughs> you wouldn't want the general panic that an attack fleet would cause, would ya? After all, you still have to conceal the situation over there at Rodas. That's enough, Commentor Farius. Based on the overwhelming evidence and the testimony of your first officer, I, Marshal Palantir Thillian, hereby render the verdict of immediate demotion of your rank as Commentor of the Star Navy, and a one-year imprisonment in the penal division of the Eagle Legion for cowardice in combat resulting in the unnecessary loss of our soldiers' lives. Marshal Palantur! What is it? I have an announcement from the High Command. Today at 4.03 p.m. Yargardian time, an unknown armada attacked the world of Peolia and Angalias and bombarded it for two hours. The number of casualties is yet unknown. What kind of fleet? The ships wore the same signature as those that attacked the Sigma border stations a few days ago. And how many lives has your ignorance cost now, Marshal? Is this true? No doubt, Marshal. <sighs> Under the newly emerged circumstances, I have no choice but to acquit Commodore Farius of all charges. Commander? Commander! How do you feel about being acquitted of all charges? Um... Uh, absolutely fantastic. What do you think? How does the High Command plan to deal with these attacks on the world of Peolia? I don't know. What do you mean? How quickly will the Star Navy be able to mobilize a fleet for a counter-strike? That also remains to be seen. Who is the enemy there? No comment. Commander, please wait! Commander! Commander! Looking out the window at the silver gleaming skyscrapers of Dina Sarkasnia, Marshal Palantur awaits Commander Farias in his office in the Blue Tower. The orange shimmer of a slowly setting sun gradually envelops the city, casting sparkling rays of light through the slits of the window blinds onto the room's carpeted floor.
You wanted to see me, Marshal? That's correct, Commentor. This trial has been... unfavorable. Tell me something I don't know. These attacks have raised entirely new questions. Please, have a seat. It was the attack of an organized military force. That's what I've been saying from the beginning. And you were right. But the evidence was against you. The evidence? Or someone else? Coincidentally, someone whose name starts with E and ends with E.D.? The data we received from Peolia speaks of a fleet of over 10,000 ships gathering on a wide front. 10,000? At least. And that's not all. Oh, really? Several weeks ago, some Stiavalors of the Twilight Legion discovered a camp of mercenaries fighting for the Gari family on a world of the Miltanian Alliance. But it turned out they were not mercenaries. They belonged to a species called Duyari that we were previously unaware of. We suspect that the ships belonging to the Eastern Armada were of this species. Humanoids? Yes. And they are bent on war. Why? Desire for conquest? A civilization that manages to surprise us to this extent should realize that it takes more than a suddenly appearing attack fleet to bring down the Star Empire. So, where do they come from then? It would seem that the Asteri have some sort of hand in this. The Asteri? How so? That's what I'd like to know, Commentor. The Order and the Emperor are keeping things covert. That's not important right now. What's important is that we stop this fleet before it can cause further destruction. We will assemble an armada for a counter-strike, and as compensation for this unnecessary accusation, would a promotion to captain be appropriate for you? It certainly would. You will assume command of the CSS Stealthor, a heavy cruiser of the Vientari class. You mean one of the new models in the Eldoran series? Exactly. Brand new. Probably still gleaming. You will join the fleet for the Counter-Strike, under the command of Admiral Phineos. I understand. When do we depart? Tonight. Your flotilla will gather in orbit around your guard at 1100 hours. From there you will fly together to Naliath. You will join the rest of the fleet. Then, I better get ready, Marshal. And one more thing, Captain. Uh, yes, Marshal? Find yourself a new first officer. The Shent Commentor Valdir doesn't seem to be a particularly reliable soldier. You can bet on that, sir. Good evening, sir. Are you ready to order? I can recommend the dish of the day, Eastern-style oysters in garlic sauce. It's a specialty of our house. No, I don't like seafood. For now, we'll have the scarano, the sweet one. And then the fish platter, number three. The one with the vintage 4017. Excellent choice, sir. May I ask what happened to your delightful companion from Friday evening? Unfortunately, she couldn't make it tonight. <laughs> Business affairs. I see. Please send my regards. Of course. Well, where are you? There one day. Easily recognizable by the silver stripe on the aim and collar of his shirt. Why do you want to make it so easy for me? The realm guard officers are always still my style. Hey, wash your hands. What? <coughs> Lieutenant Commander of Adair, I assume. <coughs> what the fuck do you want from me? Just a little chat. I don't see why. <coughs> I do. Why do you rely on today's trial against Commander for us? What? How do you know? <coughs> I said what I saw, man! 
Yes, and that wasn't the only thing. <laughs> False testimonies don't align with the proper behaviour of a realm guard officer. You wanted it that way. What? What do we want? <laughs> the EED wanted me to tell that, but didn't want everyone to panic. No, the EED certainly didn't want that. <laughs> oh, oh, please, stop it. Stop it. Before the trial, one of your agents came to me. He told me to keep my mouth shut about, about what I saw. Then he wasn't from the EED. What? <laughs> I, I swear he was one of you. What did he look like? I don't know. Tall, grey hair, looked a bit oddly wrinkled. You said he was one of us? Yes, yes. If you ask me, you should reconsider your disguise from the moment, people. Uh, <laughs> yes, I that too. Well, well, by there. Oh my, what was happening in there? Please take care of your guest. He's a bit shocked. Quite evidently. He didn't seem very resistant to me. In fact, he was all too willing to spill everything. But he knew I belonged to the EED, so it wasn't his first encounter. Probably his first encounter with a real Avabir agent, though. It was also unlikely that the Ministry of Interior ensued such an order. I would know, E14. Do you know what Valdir was doing there? Same things Relgard officers always do on shore leave. Stuffing their bellies, getting drunk, and pleasing the local ladies. Anything else? No notable activities otherwise. Seems he was only deceived once by whoever that was. Fake agents pretending to be ED officials. Then we must take action. I think the one already working on the matter. We borrow the surveillance cameras from the Blue Tower. You'll be responsible for this operation. Someone who knows our structures. Someone who knows perfectly well how to outsmart a security system. Meltalani intelligence would be a possibility. Not entirely unlikely, but considering the current circumstances within the Alliance, they are hardly able to establish an organized intelligence network. It wouldn't fit the current situation. It's much more likely that this is connected to the attacks on the Eastern Worlds. An intelligence agency associated with a new fleet? Yes, that would be the only possibility at the moment. How could these facts be related? If we believe the reports sent by the border stations, then this enemy is indeed a strictly organized military force. And this military force cannot operate alone. They must have an empire behind them. So I know no galactic power to us. Yes, a major power that has eluded our sight for millennia. Hard to believe. But not impossible. They're all in huge danger here. The signs are clear. Soon we'll have no more doubts, E14. The enemy we're facing here doesn't derive their power from temporary formations of pirate ships. Behind them stands a monumental war industry, a network of intelligence services and spies, perhaps even larger than our own. That remains to be seen. So what needs to be done now? You will go to the Senate and investigate their activities. Try to gather as much information as possible about these fake agents. The faster we apprehend them, the sooner we'll uncover this mystery. Understood, one. Captain Palanthor, Lieutenant Wittgen Arn, reporting for duty. Lieutenant, you are in charge of my fighter squadrons? Yes, Captain. Captain, if I may ask a question. Mm-hmm. You may. Is it true that we're setting out to confront this 
new enemy. That's correct. And I hope Admiral Phineas knows what awaits us. Engage the ship into hyperspace. Set a course for Naliath OL-12. 